Welcome back to Silver Run D Forest. In the last episode, we started logging this area on the corner near the gas station. We've been filling up all of our productions and they're happily moving along. We're just going to continue along this ridge line right here, clear it out, keep our productions full, and uh, keep the money flowing in. Let's jump across the excavator and get going. to not leave any trees around here. This scrub is quite thick. Uh, I think I might pull them out, out into this clearer land. Uh, I think it's going to be quite easy to lose stuff in there. So, um, yeah, I think we'll just do one more over here. Pull this one out and then we'll make probably a new pile because yeah, I'm more worried about losing stuff over here. Okay, I think we're getting close to the end of our land here. I think this road is the limit. So we'll uh, get this one down and then have a bit of a check of the map. Ooh, I'm stuck on something. Be really careful with this. drive into the cut. Wow, that one, that tree particularly made that corner look very empty. So, uh, yeah. Wow, that looks different. Definitely not what we started with. Get those last couple over there done, and yeah, it's going to look very, very different. Yeah, that not used to that view being really open like that. So, let's have a look at the land. Just double check that, yep, that road is the limit. So, yeah, we're right down here. So, a couple more in here to do, and then this block up here. Let's see, made some money, keep paying debts back. Productions, going great, going great. 
long planks are starting to turn up, which is great. They're being distributed from uh, these mills. Uh, wood's good, so we should just uh, continue to keep on I'm cutting down trees, I think. Get the head nice and straight. Yeah, this next property doesn't look too bad either. It's got a pretty good density to it. It's a nice big long trees. I think I'll make the part out here on the road for this area. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this property. I think it's done us quite well. We've been able to put down a production on it, which was great. We're really struggling with uh, with finding flat land before. I mean, we did have to do about five thousand dollars ish of terraforming to get it down, but that's okay. We really should uh, consider using a um, stump grinder a bit more. Uh, we probably could have got it down here on the road, which might have been a little bit easier to use, but it's kind of uh, cool that it's around the corner there. Uh, and it's good to see that this road, I mean, it's quite big. I think there's actually a lot of trees back here, more than I realize. I'm gonna keep dumping these out on the road. Particularly, I don't want to lose those little small bits. They're not worth much, but I'm worried about their lag. I've been dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling. It's the only thing that saves me. Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down And I don't know what I would do without you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down Hey, now look into my eyes You can use them as a mirror, baby You're my ticket to paradise Hey, now everything's alright This is something that I know for sure It's just something about you I just want more Tell me what you want to do right now Tell me what you want to do tonight I really don't care as long as I'm with you Hey, now look into my eyes You can use them as a mirror good progress I think. I decided to pull everything out to the road because there's so much underbrush that I was worried that I was going to lose stuff in there and the semi trailer is just going to get stuck on all those small trees and all those logs. Yeah 
yeah, these smaller ones, they're just not worth it But from a wood point of view, but they just get in the way uh, when you're trying to drive around things, so I'm cutting them down. Uh, the stumps still are a, uh, a driving hazard, but and also that when they cut, they're so random the way they cut. They just kind of fly around. There's a couple of dead trees in here, not too many. Uh, so the yield is pretty good. Kind of repeating the same movement, driving in, driving out, swiveling the head to the left. And then as I go up the hill, we're slowly moving up the road. Using uh, cruise control a bit just to relax my fingers. It does get kind of quite exhausting holding the triggers for so long. we've made here. Much brighter. Definitely cleared out a lot of this hill. Alright. Still some small ones. Lots of nice uh, big tall ones. We'll get 312s out of that guy. Nice and heavy. Probably a good 20 more. Tempted to start pulling them this way now. We've been driving a fair way to get back to the road. Let's have a look at the uh, productions, see if anything was worthy of filling up. Yeah, we could go do another run to the paper factory. Both lumber mills could do with a top up, so that's, uh, we've made another $5,000. Back to 100 grand, yes, that's great to see. So let's uh, fill this up and we'll get our two lumber mills uh, topped up, make sure that they're always full. Now I, I need to remember that I have a huge amount of lumber over on the hill to our left still from our from our second property that needs to be collected. What we'll do is I'll pick these up just to make it make sure that the road's kind of clear. We'll drop this off. Don't think we'll get much more on this. Yeah, it's full. So let's go over to our sawmill just here. Top him up. And then we'll top up the other one as well. quickly yep definitely for 75,000 this will take 20,000 which is nearly an entire load so let's definitely fill this one up to the brim
Yeah, it's looking empty and empty out there. Oh, I forgot that we actually had dropped some off in here. So let's uh, do that. Clear the way. Up there, Willie really wants to uh, fall off, so I'm gonna go find a hill and lean to that direction. So I need to lean, I need the hill to be on the left of me. So let me just turn around, put a lean. There we go. Um, do I want to drop off a load here? How much? You know what? I think I'm going to go fill up the paper mill with what we've got left. Wow, doesn't this look different? <coughs> this whole area it looks so open now. Yeah, we've done a great job there, I think. Yeah, it's so much more open. Let's miss my corner. Since we're here, I'm going to pick up these two. Off to the paper mill. This area on our left here, the really steep hill, I'm highly suspecting that we'll have to use a yarder for that area. It's just not going to be practical to get a truck in there. Turn the engine off. I think we're going to end up parking here because we won't be able to knock this over before. Okay, that's full. Doesn't need visiting. Full and full. Money, a little bit more. We've broken 400,000, that's great. What we're gonna aim for is probably one of these. So we need about $100,000. So, looks all right. Let's jump back. So beautiful. 
it's five o'clock. End of the day. Tomorrow we'll uh, come down here and finish off this 10-ish ones. And then what else do we have to do? I think we have uh, some at the back. I'm not sure how far the road goes back. Oh yeah, we do have a couple more up here, so looking at the map. Yeah, we still have a here's the, oh here's the red. Yeah, so we still have a couple at the back here to do. So 10 20 over there, 10 20 over here. Do that. Money's still slowly coming in. So yeah, we're starting to, with that extra sawmill, our sole products is definitely increasing. It's producing more uh, long planks, which in turn allows the wood turner to do more work. Yeah, I like where we're going with the finances. Oh, it looks good. So, uh, sleep. Ooh, another 50 grand. Yeah, I think our financial worries are slowly fading away and with that we're in June and we will pick it up again and next time hopefully finishing off that field uh, we should be able to finish 19 off and uh, move on to something new thanks for watching